You can further customize your workspace with the toolbars. Currently, they're all being viewed here at the top of the screen, directly below the drop-down menus. You can see here in the toolbars drop-down menu which of the toolbars are currently being viewed. In this case, you can tell that the media player is the only one that is not currently visualized, since it doesn't have a check next to it. You can toggle any of these toolbars simply by clicking on them. So, if I click here on the MaxQDA standard toolbar, there is now a blank space where it was. I can just as easily bring it back, clicking on toolbars at MaxQDA standard. You're also not limited to having them at the top of your screen, however. By clicking on it, you can then drag it to anywhere on your screen, whether it just be a free form location, to the left of your screen, to the bottom, to the right, and this just lets you customize in a way that makes sense for the current step in your analysis. It may be that you're only using one toolbar and the others just sort of get in the way. In this case, you have the option to customize accordingly. You'll also notice that there are toolbars at the top of each of the main windows. These give you quick access to the most frequently used functions for those particular windows. For example, in all of these windows, you'll have a context search. And this lets you search only within that particular window, rather than through all of your windows, all of your documents, all of your memos, etc. So, if you're looking for a particular code that you can't find, all you have to do is click on the context search and type in the name of that code, and it'll be shown to you. So these are just some of the ways that you can customize your workspace and make it work for you.